Hello everyone. Welcome to pfhouse.com. This is Arun Motori. In this Selenium Automation Tutorial Series, I am going to explain the topic. What are the different testing types that can be automated with the help of Selenium? Testing types can be automated with the help of Selenium that I am going to explain as part of this session, guys. To get started, what is Selenium? What is Selenium, guys? If you ask this question to someone, they may say that Selenium is a test automation tool. This is the first answer that you will get from most of the people. Second type of answer that you will get from other type of people is that Selenium is an open source test automation tool, right? This is another type of answer you will get. And some other people will also say that Selenium, Selenium is a functional testing tool. They will say that Selenium is a functional testing tool. Very rare people, very rare number of people will answer such kind of answer. Guys. Selenium is a functional test automation tool. Okay. If you go through the Selenium blocks here and there on the web, here and there, the Selenium blocks, they will be mentioning like Selenium is a functional test automation tool. Why they have mentioned such kind of line? Because they have mentioned this is because Selenium automates the functional testing. Okay. What is the main testing that Selenium automates? The main testing that Selenium automates is nothing but functional testing. Everything comes under functional testing only, guys. So what exactly is functional testing? So what exactly is functional testing? Functional testing is nothing but to verify the to verify the application's functionality according to the expected requirements. So, so for every application, there will be some requirements from the client, right? So you have to verify whether the application developed is built properly according to the expected requirement or not. Is application functioning? according to the expected requirements or not. This is nothing but functional testing. Under functional testing, if you recategorize the functional testing, there are different type of testing that can fall under functional testing, guys. That is, few examples are smoke testing, sanity testing, UI testing, database testing, cross-browser testing, regression testing. All these different type of testing come under functional testing only. They are, they are around the functionality. They are around verifying the functionality of the application only. They are around the verification of the application functionality only. So all these types of testings that I have mentioned in this image can be automated with the help of Selenium. So Selenium simply automates the functional testing. Hence it is known as Selenium is known as functional test automation tool. And it automates all these types of testing under the, which are falling under the functional testing category. That is smoke testing, sanity testing, UI testing, database testing, cross browser testing, integration testing. So what exactly is smoke, te smoke testing guys? Smoke testing is something like when you Receive a build from the development team and you have to test it. First, first you will perform smoke testing. Yes. First, you will perform smoke testing on the received build. So here, what you will be testing as part of the smoke testing? You will be testing the major and critical functionalities of the application. Okay. You will not test all the functionalities of the application, guys. You will only test the major or critical functionalities of the application as part of smoke testing first. So one example for the critical or major functionality is, let's say login functionality. There is a login functionality in your application and if it is not working, okay, then smoke testing will fail this. Simply will fail the smoke testing of that particular application and will reject the build there itself. Before actually te we test the complete application and reject the build, instead of doing that, we'll simply perform smoke testing where we'll only verify the major and critical functionalities of the application like login functionalities and if those things are failing, we'll simply reject the build and wait for the next build instead of completely testing the application. And so when smoke testing passes, then only we'll move to the other in detail types of testings. Otherwise, if it fails, the smoke testing fails, we'll, we will there itself reject the build. We'll not move further. So this is known as smoke testing. So smoke testing can be automated with the help of Selenium guys. It's, it's a subsection of the functional testing which can be automated with the help of selenium coming to the next one that is sanity testing so what is sanity testing for example for example if there is an application and in the complete application there is a functionality there are different functional areas in the application functionality a functionality b functionality c like the functionality z is there let's say in the functionality x in the functionality x there are some fixes done or in the functionality X, there are some modifications done to the application code level. Or in the functionality X, there are some advancements or new functionalities got added as part of functionality X, let's say. So somehow 
the functionality x out of the complete functionalities in the application got modified updated or newly added or changed okay so in that case guys as part of sanity testing we will focus only on the functionality x of that application and we will try to cover each and every functional area of that application i mean each and every functional test case of that functional x okay we will not test the complete application guys here as part of sanity testing we are not going to test the complete application instead we will focus on the functionality x where the code changes happened and we will we will complete all the test cases in that area in detail testing will do as part of functionality x only okay in the functionality x area we will completely cover all the test cases of that functionality x we can intention of seeing whether the new functionality or updated functionality is working completely fine or not this is known as sanity testing as sanity testing is a kind of focused and in detailed testing of the specific functional area which got updated in the application instead of testing the complete application we will test the specific application which got updated in a detailed manner that is known as sanity testing so this kind of sanity testing can also be automated with the help of selenium now coming to the third type of testing that is ui testing okay under functionality testing the third type of testing is ui testing ui testing is nothing but the gui of the application guys so what actually is a graphical user interface on the application you will find lot of web elements like uh, ui web elements like uh, buttons checkbox options menu items right drop down fields multi selection box fields text alignments color of the text okay background of the pages lot of things may be there okay all this will come under the ui of the application to test this kind of ui of the application graphical user interface of the application to see whether this ui of the application is as expected as per the requirements or not is known as ui testing the ui of the application is as per the requirements or not is known as ui testing guys this is also part of functional testing such kind of testing can also be automated with the help of selenium selenium can automate that selenium can actually check the ui functionality of the application now coming to the fourth type of testing that i mentioned here is database testing so what is database testing database testing is to basically at a high level database testing is something like if you have some data on the application newly created records or newly registered users are there whatever it is the same data should reflect in the database guys okay should reflect in the database we need to check whether the data on the ui layer of the application is in sync with the is in sync with the data that is stored in the database of the application okay if you do some modifications to the any data say let's say there is a user the, let's say there is a user you have updated the last name of the user in the ui layer of the of the of ui layer of the application let's say okay you have updated the last name in the ui layer of the application let's say in that case if you go to the db it should also have the updated last name in the db okay if you create a new record the same record should be also there in the should be also stored in the database of the application this is how the ui layer of the application and the data the data that is stored in the database should match guys this is nothing but database testing and selenium actually automates can can also automate this database testing guys just by connecting to the database with the help of jdbc connection from our selenium automation scripts we can we can actually connect to the database and run different queries to check whether the data that is displayed on the ui layer of the application is matching with the data is actually stored in the database or not okay we can do this kind of testing with the help of selenium also now coming to the fifth type of testing that is falling under this functional testing category that is cross browser testing as part of cross browser testing we need to verify whether the application functionality is working as expected in all the different supported browsers or not this is nothing but cross browser testing guys selenium supports this selenium supports and automates this cross browser testing because in selenium we can create automation scripts for executing our automation scripts on different browsers like chrome browser firefox browser ie browsers and other popular browsers so cross browser testing can also be automated with the help of selenium now coming to the last type of testing that I have listed down here under functional testing that is regression testing so what is regression testing guys what is regression testing regression testing is if you modify a particular functionality of a particular application okay all the other applications which are earlier working may get some side effects there is a possibility that there is a possibility that due to small modification in some area of the application may result in side effects in the earlier stable working functionality of the application 
to overcome this problem we perform regression testing okay so regression testing will be performed on the earlier working and stable functionalities of the application they are working earlier properly guys but because of small changes in some area of the application they may get some side side effects it's our duty to check the complete application to see whether those small changes done at some area of the application are not affecting the earlier working areas of the application that is regression testing so even regression testing can also be automated with the help of selenium and the main purpose of selenium is to automate the regression testing only guys okay here is a point so selenium automates the functional testing and at same time the main motto or main purpose of the selenium automation is to automate the regression testing only so that i am going to cover in this slide guys okay what are the main testing type that need to be automated with the help of selenium the main testing type that need to be automated with the help of selenium is nothing but the regression testing we need to automate regression testing okay that's the main purpose so i already explained what actually regression testing is right so if you do some small changes at some areas of the application other areas which are working fine or which are already stable and working fine earlier in the application may get some side effects and may not work properly okay to so make sure that our changes or small changes are not affecting or introducing some new side effects into this working functionalities of the application we have to perform regression testing on the complete application okay we have to perform regression testing on all the existing working scenarios of the application so here guys selenium performs a main role okay we automate all this regression testing scenarios which were working and stable in the earlier build okay we'll simply run them because due to small changes we cannot completely test the application every time manually right for example there is a tester and uh, he is working on a complex application and uh, it actually the application takes around 3 days to completely test it okay but there is a small change done in one area of the application and there is a doubt that because of this small change in the application all the remaining functionalities of the application may get some side effects there is a doubt to confirm that to confirm that doubt we have to perform the regression testing throughout the application right all the stable areas of the application need to be tested again as part of regression testing so if you manually test it the tester will not have that much time right uh, he has to focus on newly newly changed application functionality or updated code changes or fixing of issue fixed functionalities all those things he need to focus and see if those things are working fine or not he cannot always go back and test all the working functionalities of the application every time so that will take a lot of time and you will not be able to complete in the given amount of time to overcome this problem to overcome this problem we will automate all the regression testing with the help of selenium and selenium will do the regression testing while the tester will focus on the bug fixes uh, related testing functionality or uh, he will focus on the updated functionality uh, testing the updated functionality or testing the newly introduced functionality or testing the application functionality where the bug fixes were done okay all this kind of things testers will focus while the automation tool like selenium will take care of the regression testing and give us the results in very less amount of time okay this is how automation testing that to selenium automation testing plays a main role in performing regression testing guys so the same thing here so the automation tool like selenium will be performing the automation testing on the stable regression testing scenarios which were working earlier in the earlier build while tester will be focusing on the newly changed code functionalities so what selenium cannot automate now what selenium till now i explained what actually selenium automates right what are the different testing types that selenium can automate but now i am going to explain what are the different types of testings that uh, cannot be automated by selenium okay here are some list guys first one is api testing selenium is not the correct tool for performing api testing guys the thing here is that selenium is not the perfect tool for performing the api testing for api testing we have to look for other other tools like rest assured framework or we have to use other tool like soap ui soap ui pro or postman automation tools there are many other automation tools which are dedicated for performing this api testing guys but selenium is not the correct fit for api testing okay for automating the api testing we should not be using selenium instead we have to go with the desired tools which are actually intended for testing the api testing automation okay coming to the next type of testing that we generally don't automate with selenium is mobile testing we don't actually perform mobile testing with selenium guys still similarly 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 mobile testing also has some other tools like apm etc which can be used for performing the 
automation of the mobile testing and there are other limitations of selenium guys which i don't want to cover in this session okay they are out of scope for this session i will be covering these limitations in the upcoming sessions of this tutorial series anyhow so uh, this is out of topic for this session this li other limitations of selenium will be covered in the future sessions till then let's go with the next slide now so conclusion here guys simple terms guys selenium automates functional testing and regression testing types only okay selenium automates functional testing and regression testing types this is the straight forward answer you can give guys if you want to elaborate your answer more you can also mention that selenium is a functional test automation tool which can automate both functional testing and regression testing types and under functional testing it can automate smoke testing sanity testing ui testing database testing right so this kind of testing regression testing etc you can mention as part of your detailed explanation of this question so conclusion here is selenium automates functional testing and regression testing types is the main answer after that you can explain whatever you want now guys that's all about that's all about the different testing types that can be automated with the help of selenium so we are done with the session guys so this is arun motori from qfox.com our mission is to help the testing community in all possible ways thank you guys signing off bye